I'm going to play some videos for you. So if you are case sensitive, you don't like to hear bad stories, please leave. Did I warn people? If you don't like to hear them, that's why we have the title 18 years plus and warning. We will not show you image, bad, the scary image, but you will hear stories. The first story I will start with is from a Yazidi survivor, just to show you what Islam is about and what Muslims do and how they justify things. Let me let me zoom out so you can read the you can read the text. Give me a second. This is a Yazidi woman. We will go to Israel, but just to show you in general what Islam is about. I saw blood in their hands. Is the text coming clear? Are you able to see the translation? I think you do. Let's go. She was then kidnapped, torn apart from her mother, and locked in a prison. <laughs> She told me she they are crying. They are crying from hunger, little children. They put them in jail. They kidnapped them, the beautiful, nice Islamic religion. They kidnapped those women, they killed the men. They put them in jail and they are not even feeding them. Subhanallah, subhanallah. <laughs> She told me she saw things which will always haunt her. Things which I found very difficult to listen to. Hold on. For some reason, my banner is coming in front of the text. Let me see if I can get rid of it. Okay, here we go. Let me play. Guys, listen, look at this. She saw a guy, he is 40, he's over 40 years old. He come to the jail cell where they are jailing those women and children. And he took a child to do what with her? To listen to. Ten years old, the filthy follower of Muhammad he took a child she is 10 years old what to do with her if you don't like to hear leave Subhanallah, Subhanallah. If you and if Allah, you coward son of Muta. I apologize, guys. Today I'm really upset. I don't use this language, and this is not a language for a Christian to use. But my blood is boiling. I'm not the kind who uses this language. I'm for sure. I'm not saying that to her. She, is, she don't believe in Allah. She is Yazidi. This is why they are raping them. Just because she is not a Muslim. She's not a Christian. They are Yazidi. They have different religion. They go, they hunt them. They go after them in the mountain, those women and children. The story is there in the BBC. They try to run away. They chase them. They are not fighting people. They are not armed. They have no weapon. They never, they never fought anybody. They never killed a Muslim, never hurt anyone. Those Yazidi never hurt a Christian, never hurt Muslim, never hurt anyone. What can justify doing that to them? They are not Muslims. A child, she is 10 years old, and she was hearing her voice screaming, Mama, Mama. My mom, my mom, help. The filthy scumbag, follower of Muhammad, was raping the child. I 
We're not allowed to show you where the girls are living. It's for their own safety. Many of their families are still in captivity, but not far from here. Those 17 Yazidi... Many of their family, they are still in captivities. This is Islam. <laughs> Many of what? Many of their families are still in captivities. They don't know where they are. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. I mean, the woman, she gave her food. She said to her, eat, eat. Do you see how nice the treatment of Islam? You coward, filthy, mouth of evil. Money maker from YouTube. You will pay for your crimes, your filthy and your God. Time will come and you will be in hell. With your filthy prophet, the child molester. I just search in YouTube. There's tons of stories. I don't know what to show you. Let us see. You always send me a video, and every once in a while, they send me a hard message. But they got this message. It just absolutely broke me. <laughs> I'm gonna translate it to English. Someone sent me. I gotta tell you, a good friend of mine, her son was missing at the rave at the party. Today, she got a video from the terrorist murdering her kid and his girlfriend. He took the video in, his, in her son's phone and sent it to her through her son's phone. <laughs> Do you, do you see how filthy they are? So all day long. They are recording how they are. They are hostages now. He decided to kill him. And for sure he will rape the girl. And now he is sending a video using the phone of the girl and sending the, 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 the video to his family. Do you see how nice Islam is? Who can who can say this is not really friendly? I mean, do you want your son to be killed without seeing how he was shot and murdered? Let us be honest here. He is doing you a favor. He is doing a favor. So all day long I get. It just absolutely broke me. <laughs> I'm going to translate it to English. Someone sent me. I got to tell you, a good friend of mine, her son was missing at the rave at the party. Today, she got a video from the terrorist murdering her kid and his girlfriend. He took the video and... Oh, he murdered, sorry, I got it wrong. He murdered them both. He killed the boy, he killed the girl, and he recorded killing both and sent it to the family. Who here can say that this is not a beautiful behavior of Islam? Islam is a religion of peace and mercy. Ask George Bush. Ask Obama. Ask Joe Biden. He quote Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, Joe Biden, he said, the prophet Muhammad, he said, if someone sees something wrong, change it. He should change it by his hand. If he could not by his hand, then by, by his mouth. If not by his mouth, then by his heart. We are in a time where the president, the scumbag president of United States and his party, they are quoting the biggest filthy terrorist who commit genocide against Christians and Jews. This is how far this country is going down. All of this for what? Just to make a few Muslims who live in Michigan to vote for him. This is scumbag Joe bite me for the sake of a few vote Muslims in America they are not even one percent this is how cheap this is how trashy they are shall I play more videos I have a crazy videos here I don't know which one I should play for you let us see this one I hope that the text will come 
clear for you you will be able to uh, let us see because the video here is a little bit the aspect of it aspect ratio is not right uh, it's going to be hard to show the face and the text in the same time let us see אני דניאלה אלוני, אימא לאמיליה אלוני, בת השש. בשביעי לאוקטובר נחטפנו בברוטליות מהבית שלנו. הבנות שלנו ראו דברים שילדים בגיל הזה, או בכל גיל, לא צריכים לראות. סרט אימה, אתה מרגיש שאתה רוצה... סובחן אללה, זה הורר מובי, איזה נייס. אני אומר, אנחנו משלמים. אנחנו משלמים כסף כדי ללכת למובי, כדי ללכת למובי, כדי ללכת הורר מובי. Here we go, the horror movie come to you, subhanallah. Why you are worrying? They will feed you a sandwich when you go there before they release you. נצח שלא נגמר. אתה אנשם ניסי, אח שלו, בת זוגו. My mother in law still there. Her, his, uh, his, her brother and his girlfriend still there. בת זוגתו ואח שלה. ואנשים שם בסיכון, אנשים right. יכולים למות כי החליטו פשוט לרצוח אותם. They decide to murder them, that's all. I mean, what the... Is that a bad thing? Let's see another one. This one actually doesn't show much, you know. Let us see more. <laughs> Maybe this one will do a little bit better. Let us change the, the video size. This is the only reason, actually, I chose to use this program for podcast because you can change the size of the window. You can zoom in, etc. The others, they don't have such an option. Let us see what they will say here. Against humanity, they raped, murdered, and violated Israeli women. Usually, the United Nations is a place where Israelis have to defend their actions. But this time, they had center stage calling out the brutal violence against women on October 7th. Hamas had committed rapes. We saw bodies of naked women. Morgue workers say the bodies show trauma consistent with rape. They bent someone down and I realized he was raping her and then he shot her in the head. Her pants are pulled down and she is half naked. Their legs were spread out. And women's organizations chose to be silent against Hamas violence. And calling out the deafening silence, denial and vocal vitriol against Jewish people that ensued. The world has to decide who to believe. Do we believe the Hamas spokesperson who said that rape is forbidden, therefore it couldn't have possibly happened on October 7th? Or do we believe the women whose bodies tell us how they spent the last minutes of their lives? Who are we going to believe? We found a woman's body dumped outside without pants, without underpants, burn, barely any hair left on her. They even displayed horrific eyewitness testimonies. המון פיצי ירי, גם ירי ממוקד באזור איברים לגברים, זה רגיל די הרבה. היה להם קטע עם איברים, גם לאנשים וגם לגברים, אנשים שהגיעו אלינו אזרחיות, זה היה, אנחנו ראינו בעיקר עוד פריטות שדיים. Hold on, did you see what he's saying? Did, did you, are you able to read the text or it's so small for you? They are cutting women's breasts. There's a video 
there's there's a like they, they brought a group of journalists from around the world and they played videos recorded by the filthy Hamas themselves, the Muslims Hamas, the true Muslims, while they are raping a woman, one woman, a group gang rape, and during the rape, they were cutting her breast, and after she cut, they cut her breast, obviously she died from bleeding, after she died, there's one he did not do anything yet, so he start raping her after she is dead. Even animals will not do that. And this is the true Islam. They will say to you, Islam, it, it, uh, Hamas is terrorist. It's a, they keep saying, Prophet Muhammad have nothing to do with this. Even Israeli TV, the policeman, he said to Hamas, he said, but do Islam approve what you just did? He said, uh, no, no. No, no, Islam does not. I mean, even, even Israeli TV is lying to the audience, claiming that those, you know, just the propaganda, like they want to convince the people that this is, this is just Hamas is the evil one. They don't know that they are serving Islam at the end of the day, because now you can wash the blood of all the Israeli from the hand of Muhammad, when the fact everything they did is exactly what Muhammad did. Muhammad, he killed the family of Safiya. He killed her husband. He killed her father, he killed her brother, and he raped her less than a mile from her house. And all of this is re recorded in their books. She was undressed and he cut her breast he cut her breast and he threw them into the road and they were playing with the cut off breast she's gone like this with her head in the back and those the Muslims in the West Hamas in our land <laughs> Those are the supporters of Hamas, the Muslims in the USA and in the West. And for sure, there's some dummies who they are just Western, they have no idea what they are doing. Hippies. What's more is the overwhelming amount of women protesting in hate and anti-Semitic rallies around the world. What anti-Semitic? Stop using this word. Those, this, this religion hate everybody. This is not anti-Semitic. Don't be stupid. They hate everybody. They hate the Jews. They hate the Christians. They hate the Hindus. They hate the Buddhists. Name for me. One religion is safe or the followers of it is safe from the hand of the violence and the garbage and the, the filth of Muhammad. Just name one. This is, can be anti-Semitism only if it is against the Jews. But this filthy, demonic, garbage religion, they want to kill everybody. They killed more than 80 million Hindus. 80 million, not eight. 80. And they keep saying to you, this is just anti-Semitic. This is not anti-Semitic. They're trying to limit the hatred of the whole garbage. Okay, when, when those Muslims, they were killing people in Syria. There's no Jews there. There's a Christians. There's Shia. There's Alawi. There's Yazidi. There's Druze. There is. But there's no Jews. So why do they want to kill them? What about Iraq? There's no Jews. Islam, the religion of Islam, made a cleansing for the Jews. The Jews, that's it. They cannot live there. This is not just anti-Semitic. This, this garbage, demonic cult is against the humanity. Uh, somebody said demonic Russian prosecuting. You know, uh, obviously Russian, they don't care. I'm talking about the government, don't care about if you are a Jew or not. They care about money. As you see, they support anyone who have money. They are willing to kill their own cousins, the Ukrainians. And they are Christians. 
how many Ukrainians get killed. Not This is not only about the Jews. You are mistaken. Those Putin, the dog Putin, he is not discriminating the Jews. He is discriminating everybody. He discriminates his own. Anyone who oppose him, he indeed. Anyone. Anyone does not mean a Jew. Anyone, he is a Christian, he is a, anyone. Not a single person, he oppose him, he stay alive. Even his own army, like this guy, the, the, the head of Wagner. He oppose him less than four weeks after he is dead. So this is not about, in Russia, it's not about, you know, this Putin, he worship money. He want to be a president in all cause, and he want to be so filthy powerful. Anyone who oppose him, he will take him in his way. But when it's come to the Muhammadan, they hate you just for one reason, because of your religion. When it's come to someone like Putin, he love you if you support him. He love you if you are Hamas, support him. He love you if you are Christian, support him. He love you if you are a Jew, support him. He just support him, you will be fine. He is not a sponsor by ideology. He is just a filthy dictator. So there is a huge difference. We cannot say all oh, the Russian is the same. We can say that there is Putin and there is the one who get the benefit of Putin behind him. Because remember, always the big gang leader, he get bones. So he can be the gang leader. Otherwise the gang will overcome the leader and they will replace him with someone who can feed them. So he knew how to play game. He is a KGB officer who killed many people during his work. This is his career. He is a professional killer. So killing for him is just hello. He don't kill you because of your religion. He kill you only if you oppose him. He did not kill Muslims in Syria because they are Muslims. He killed those who they are opposing him. This is why Qadarov is his best friend. Or his son. But all of us we knew Qadarov is a Muslim. And Christians and Muslims are not too much friends, not especially in, in Russia. They have a very bloody history. They have a bloody history even between the Russian government and the, the, the Chechen Republic. Putin himself he destroyed that republic. So how they can be in love together now? Because simply as long Qadarov he worked as a puppy for Putin. Putin is happy with him. He will support him, he will protect him, and this is telling you that they don't have religion, they don't care for religion. When Qadarov people, they stood against the Russian government, the Russian government demolished them. If I search right now in Google for Grozny, you will see what happened to Grozny. Grozny was totally destroyed. Is that because of religion? No. They tried to separate themselves from the authority of Russia. So we have to be smart and we have to be careful and not to put everyone in one basket. But when it's come to Islam, I can say now, not every Muslim want to kill the Jews. True. But those are not Muslims. Are we talking about somebody, his name is Muhammad or somebody, he is a Muslim? Are we talking about a drug dealer who have a cross in his neck and his name is George or somebody, he believe in Christ? So a Christian is someone who believe in Christ. A Muslim is someone who believe in Islam, not someone his name is Muhammad. So we ask him, do you believe in Muhammad and the Quran? If he say yes, then he support Hamas. Because he cannot disapprove any act of Hamas. And he cannot say this is not Islamic because this is what Muhammad did in details. And we have all those things recorded. Everything we are saying now, we can prove it from their books, from killing women, killing children, raping, stealing, cheating, and breaking peace agreement. This is why anyone, he try to believe or he think that there is something called peace agreement. I have to say that he is an idiot because there is no such a thing. Not when people believe in Muhammad. And we can show it to you from the Quran. The Quran says, cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. 
what does that mean? Mean if you are strong and you are you can defeat the enemy, why you want to go for peace? And who is the enemy? Anyone who rejects Islam. Muhammad he said, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they say there's no filthy prophet but Muhammad and there is no scumbag God, demonic, but Allah. Am I lying? Was Muhammad a Muslim? Or he is a bad Muslim? You will see how many stupid people they can say to you that the Prophet Muhammad don't teach such a thing. This is not Islamic. This is absolutely a'uzu billah. This is against Islam, brother. Islam, we don't teach that. This is Muhammad. I've been commanded to kill all mankind. Not the one who's fighting me. And all of this is authentic, very authentic. I have been commanded to fight against who? Against the people, all people. You see, Nas, the word Nas in Arabic, it's not actually, it's not even an Arabic word, it's coming from the Aramaic. But the word Nas is mean the whole mankind. If you don't believe me, I can take you to the Quran right now. I will type the word Nas right away here in the front of your eyes. All those words is an nas. If you ask the Muslim, what the nas mean? He says mankind. So what we did? He's talking about the Kaaba. Is the Kaaba is the house for only uh, people of Quraysh? No, it is the house for all mankind who believe in Islam. Do you see the word people here? This is a nas. Isn't it the Kaaba for all Muslims? So nas mean mankind. And we have, you know, we can, we can, uh, uh, we can, all those verses actually, talking about that. Chapter 2, verse 143. We made you a medium community so you can witness to humanity. You see what the word Nas translated? As a humanity. The verse here translated the word Nas as a humanity. Shuhada'un ala Nas. This is the word in Nas. So Muhammad he says, I've been commanded to kill all the Nas, all mankind, all humanity until they witness I am a prophet. So what is the target? To make everyone believe in Allah and to believe and witness that Muhammad is a scumbag and then and only then and you have to pay him by the way and you have to pray as Muhammad he said and you have to eat as Muhammad he said and then and only then your blood, your property are secured. Do you see it? So what will secure the blood of any, any human being, anywhere, any country, if he convert to Islam? Otherwise, Muhammad want to kill every human being. You will notice here, he is not making condition if somebody fight me. No, he is saying the condition is so clear. Until they say Shahada. And not only that, they have to pay the zakat. And not only that, they eat as we eat. And not only that, they pray as we pray. Which means pray to the direction of the Kaaba. If they do that, then and only then, I will not kill them. Do you see it? So many people think that this is just a hatred for the Jews. But those people now, they are busy with the Jews because Jerusalem is very important for them, they want to take it. But in fact, they are coming after every single one of you. Every single of a human being. You are an Indian, Hindu, Buddhist. Uh, you are an atheist. You are a gay. You are a Christian. It doesn't matter who you are. They are going to go after you. And as you see here, we don't show you something. It's not true. 
He want to take your property. He want to take your money. Just because you don't believe in his filthy God, the God of penis. The God who will make the penis of his believer, the one who follows his God, he will make his penis endless. This is a penis religion. Even those Hamas, when they drug them and they go to war, the hope inside them is if they die, they will be right away in heaven and they will be effing women. Excuse my language. This is the whole cult is about. He told them, if you die fighting for me, do you know what you will have? What prophet? He says, your penis will be in this and will never go limp. And the lowest reward for a Muslim in heaven is 72 women to F. Am I lying? If there is any Muslim here, he dare to accuse me of lying. 